is supposed to be the same as this. So, so this flange, this plastic flange here, is mimicked by this. Now I'm wearing gloves, but it feels like it's metal. It looks like a tiny fan back there as well. This is complicated. I wonder if it costs hundred dollars. I'm not even sure that's better. I don't like the extra complication of a little tiny motor in there. A little fan now has to be in there. And it wasn't designed to have a fan in there, I'm sure. So I don't know where the hot air is supposed to go. This might be semi-bullshit, but I'll put it in. It is the same brand, Sylvania. You want, you can swear a little bit, that might help. Usually, it doesn't really help me, but I feel a little better sometimes. down here is the burnout one I already took it out you uh, unplug it this uh, dust cap it's on the back of the thing and since I upgraded to halogen I mean LED it was halogen I pulled it out this is the, this is the burnout one this is what it looks like and supposedly this it's the exact same thing it's just LED so it's gonna last longer be brighter um, overall you know better newer technology so I said all right I'll spend the extra money I mean supposedly it's gonna last a lot longer but it oh it has a warranty for five years and it's going to uh, um, you know overall be better so I figured it's basically double the price the, instead of 50 for a two it's a uh, hundred for two um, but if it's going to last three, at least three times longer, it's, it's already saving money from having to replace it so often. So the other one is back here. So that means I have to replace both, right? Otherwise, I have one that's halogen and one that's LED. The other one is back here. Where am I? It's hard to see what I'm doing. Here we go. It's this round thing here. Round cap. I'm going to pull that off. But since I already got the other side off, I'm going to do that first. So when you pull that off, what you end up seeing is... So the light plugs into that, and then you slide it in. Well, first of all, you take the stopper off. Uh, not the stopper, that, that rubber cover. It sort of looks like a stopper, like in the bathtub. You pull that off. That just pulls off. It stretches off. Then you, uh, you find the back of this what you're, you're really feeling is the back of the light bulb and that rotates counterclockwise it, it'll feel like it's stuck just keep pushing twisting it as best you can counterclockwise it'll break loose then there's a, that little clip you can sort of see you push that down and it lets it go uh, and it comes off now I'm gonna reinstall it and I'll show you the full uh, uh, job on the other side so let me open the box and pull out the uh, the new fancy ones let's see what I paid for it gives you this little extra, it comes, it looks like, like this. There's the instructions. Here's the little adapter or something. Not sure what that's for, but I'll, I decided, okay, I'll read the directions, you know. Because <laughs> I think some of these parts don't apply, but they don't know what you're going to put it on. So they don't, uh, looks awful huge. I guess that goes into the inside of the uh, housing for the thing itself. Unless this is supposed to fit to there. Oh, maybe that is. It's all connected. And it's saying this extra stuff is uh, if you need extra stuff. Oh, those are zip ties. I thought those were cables. So it's two two little extra rubber washer gasket things. And also a tiny little uh, Allen wrench. So somewhere on here. Oh, the thing fell off. Is the Oh, that's the bulb. Yeah, okay. So this fits in the back. This whole thing is supposed to be the same as this. So, so this flange, this plastic flange here, is mimicked by this. Now I'm wearing gloves, but it feels like it's metal. It looks like a tiny fan back there as well. This is complicated. I wonder if it costs $100. I'm not even sure that's better. I don't like the extra complication of a little tiny motor in there. A little fan now has to be in there. 
I didn't know that was all gonna be part of the deal. Yeah, but obviously, so all this is gonna be inside, hanging out. And it wasn't designed to have a fan in there, I'm sure. So I don't know where the hot air is supposed to go. This might be semi-bullshit, but I'll put it in. It is the same brand, Sylvania. I'll put it in just to make sure. I mean, just to have it, you know, might as well try it and see how much better. If it ends up lasting five, ten years, great. I, I, you know, I was wrong. I was, I, uh, you know, I judged too, too early. <laughs> but uh, I'm not really that impressed with all that, I just have, have to say, starting off. Uh, so the first thing is, uh, oh yeah, so to be an extra good boy, I, I'm going to disconnect the battery, which is what they say. So here it says, I might as well just show you. Uh, some vehicles require additional adapter. I don't know if that's what this thing is or not. I don't think it is. The race is coming straight out of the out of the deal. That's not, you know, extra plugged in. Unless this unscrews or something. Oh, you know what? I bet that's what it is. I bet this unscrews. And this edge is the back that, that fits onto that flange. Oh, no, but then how do you plug it in? I still need to have this on there. That's, that's what plugs into the thing. I don't know. Like, we'll see. Next is uh, a disconnect your battery. That's fine. Next is uh, remove original bulb. Yeah. Next is plug in electric connection. So this is all one unit. That's all supposed to be there. Next is uh, run for your life. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, I didn't read this part yet. Install bulb install LED for fully yes no kidding and then reattach the battery and you should be done when you unplug when you're plugging your it's just basically lefty loosey righty tiny same exact thing you know so when you when you're reaching in there to try to get it off it's counterclockwise when you're putting it back on it's clockwise and then check I guess it's trying to say here Lamp gets hot when fog lamp is in operation and remains hot sometime after. I guess if you're going to uh, touch it Some right after you've had it on. Sylvania fog lamps. I'm not sure I got the right thing, frankly. If it doesn't plug in, I'm going to take it back, obviously. All right, we'll see what it says. We'll see. We'll try to do this here. But first, I'm going to be a good boy and, and unplug this. Disconnect the battery just because they're supposed to. Okay. Get over there somewhere. We'll let it go somewhere it wants to go. I bought this bulb grease. I'm not sure it's really that important. But in the... Uh, thing here if you try to first of all you don't want it on the connectors even the instructions say don't put it on the connectors what you want it is on the around it to help kind of seal out water because it looks like there's only hard plastic here there's no actual um, rubber gasket or whatever and but in order to do that in, instead of putting it around here and then when you shove the thing inside it's just going to be pushing it against the connectors I put it around the outside edge of the uh, I just put it on top now but see it's on the outside I'm gonna smear it around the outside so that way it'll only be pushing it on there it'll be avoiding the connectors I can't get it in front now because the thing is gonna be pushing onwards that's the theory at least okay so now I'm gonna smear it over and then uh, you know lubricate and then insert you know just like <laughs> just like you're supposed to do and now I realized also that this flange mounts to the inside of the uh, light. The light's gonna go in like this. So that means this fan will actually be on the outside. It'll be outside in the engine. Oh no, it won't, it's gonna be behind the cap. Yeah, so that's still gonna be sealed up. Nope, I, I, I thought it, there was an answer, but there's no answer there. Still not a good idea. It might not even fit, I don't know. We'll see if the, the cap fits on the back or you just have it open now when it's not sealed. Then, then I might take it back and I'll be like, look, it's supposed to be closed up, it doesn't close. Unless I got the wrong version. No, it says nine, it's 9,005 is the product number. 
9005. So that's what it's supposed to be. This is the old one. This is what it came with. The, this is the cheapest, lowest grade light they could give you. So you can clearly see 9005. So it's the same product number. And it's also the same company. So they, well, we'll see what happens. All right, let me, let me put it in there, on there, and then we'll see how it, and it bounce it up and I'll show you how it looks afterwards. So it's been a few days and I did figure out how to um, tuck the uh, wire in there so that it's not touching the, um, I don't know if you can actually see in there, the fan, that's the fan you're looking at there and the wires are wrapped around it and kind of pushed forward and then it doesn't touch the housing and it doesn't block the wire i thought it was gonna have to be all bundled up behind the wire behind the fan i mean behind the light and i didn't want the, the wire and the uh, little transformer or whatever that thing is touching the hot housing of this because this is going to get blazing hot but i figured out oh you can sort of wrap it forward and around and then it doesn't really touch and also i considered the um, the previous light, the halogen, that's not exactly a cold light, you know. So that's got plenty of heat in there already. So maybe it's designed to take a little bit of heat. I just don't see any way to vent the heat out, which would have been nice. I, I, I don't have a housing to look at, but I don't think there's any special holes to allow heat to escape. I don't know. But anyways, the, the back is clear. And with the cap on, the cap will not touch that kind of bows out and sort of a dome so it'll, it'll be fine I'm trying to push this on here um just chasing all the way around the edge and everything's inside that's the thing there's no wires sticking out so we're just going to close it all the way up so I'm just trying to get one edge started like that and then just you know chase it around and it'll be on. I was thinking actually of not putting it all the way on, allow for some heat ex heat escaping. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. And uh, now I'm going to do the other side. There it goes. This one had to snap over. But yeah, so it's on totally secure now. Now I'll do the other side. Yeah, this is it here. Yeah, this is a little bit more room. I wish I could just put the phone down. All right, so now I'm going to try to do it just like that. So you can see what I'm doing. And uh, I don't have to hold the thing so I can do it in two hands like what you normally would do. Uh, if it's really dirty and dusty and you don't want to get that all over you, you know, just sweep off the dirt and dust. The other side is more obvious. You're, you're going to be touching stuff more, so that would be where you want to do it more this side i can see maybe it's up here my your arm is leaning on the motor mount i mean the uh, hood mount type of thing you might not want to lean on top of that might have had a bunch of dirt on it for example so once that's done let's tell, see how fast i can do this you pull the back off. Oh, I want to disconnect the battery, which I already showed you before. And after all that hassle with the camera, I'm not going to move it anymore. <laughs> so be a good boy or girl. Disconnect the battery like you're supposed to. I did. Now we pull this off. And it's rubber, so just grab it and bend it and pull it. You know, it's not a big deal. There's actually tabs, which I don't know if you're supposed to grab two or three of them at a the time. I don't know how you two, them, how you can get two hands in there. Uh, but whatever, if they're there, whatever's there, just get it off. However you do it, get it off. It's like this, for example. Ugh. Okay, no problem. Now, there's the back of the thing. You you turn it counterclockwise, so this would be uh, this way. And it's sort of an, an L shape, as I showed you before. It's not hard to, to grab it and twist it. You're gonna be doing a lot of this sort of blind. I mean, again, it's by Braille. Since your hand is in the way of this tiny little space. See, you have to really force it sometimes. 
in, in other words, it's gonna it's supposed to go off and it's gonna come off. You just have to convince it now's the time. So this one is still good technically, so I'd rather not touch the bulb. I don't know if you can see here, my hand in the way. There's this clip. And all it is is like a little tooth that fits into the groove. So once you lift it up, I hope you can see that. The It'll let go of the bulb. It's already, it's already out, I can feel it. It's just still wedged into the socket. So grab the socket and pull the light. Wiggle, wiggle, encourage. Request, politely request. If you want, you can swear a little bit. That might help. Usually, it doesn't really help me, but I feel a little better sometimes. But uh, yeah, swearing is an option in this case. So whatever works is fine. Let her rip and let's see what happens. So I'm, I'm not sure what everyone has against swearing. It's not gonna make it worse. And who knows, if, if nothing else, at least you feel a little better. To me, that's still a win. <laughs> it goes. Okay, so it's it's got to unhook from this little tab. Is while you're doing it, and and the and the, uh, the thing will hook over this, and then it'll hook along this ridge. And the new one has has a tab and a ridge, so it's set up the same way, and it's on both sides. Now they do show you a positive and a negative here. And if you can find your wire, the black side is the negative side. I don't know if you can see that. One side is negative. It's a white and one side, or yellow maybe, but it's one side is black. So the black is a negative. So you want to line the black with, this. there's only two holes, black and white. So you want the white, I mean the black and the, and the negative to be on the same side, meaning this way so I want it to be basically that way I want I want the negative on this on this end which is the same way as here now once you tuck it in there it won't matter you're gonna twist it around it doesn't matter just want to make sure it's lined up correctly here oh I forgot to do the lubrication I'm gonna take it off I wanted to put that oil on there that I bought probably totally unnecessarily So I'm going to put it around the outside of this because then it'll tuck into the spot. Uh, inside there. As opposed to me pushing it in. And then uh, it's getting all over the place. That's the theory at least. In other words, it's already on the outside of this, so it can't it can't go into the uh, terminals, into the connections. You probably can't see what I'm doing here. We'll see. Um, okay, so back to this again. So the black is on the same as before. It goes on a little easier, actually. There's some lube. So I believe that's on. So let me just uh, plug it, put the battery back on to make sure I, I connected it right. And uh, take this off so it doesn't burn it. Well, it won't burn it, it's actually on the phone, but take the little jacket off here. Now you see how it's like on a blade? You want it with the, the wire, when you put it inside here, inside the, the housing, try, try to do it so that the blade is up and down. Uh, in, in this case, it looks like three of these little tabs, I mean two of the tabs, two of the three tabs are one size and the one in the middle you could say is on the, at the top is um, smaller and that's opposite the wire. So you don't have to know where the tabs are per se, just make sure your wire is pointing down and then your alignment should be correct. 
But before I do that, let me just turn on the, the light to make sure it's plugged in here before I wrap it all up. And it turns out I missed, I, you know, I didn't plug it in enough. Whoa. Yep, it's on. Okay. There. You don't really attach the battery, you just gotta set it on it. To, if it's clean enough, it'll just turn on. We're not driving anywhere. Okay, so now everything I just told you, and I have to do it now. <laughs> uh, here's the hole, here's the thing. Try to try to tuck all this wire in there. I, I would tuck it in afterwards. I would first mount it. And when you mount it, it's, you want it to end up like this. Um, the only other thing I can say is uh, if it doesn't want to go one way, the way you're trying to convince it to go, you could try to uh, mount it. Instead of having the wire end up being down, you, you could have the wire up if that works out better for you. Because I don't know what, what the mounting here, hardware is here inside the, the, the light housing itself. Because all you care about is that the, the blade is up and down, straight up and down, kind of in the vertical position. It doesn't matter which way. You're just using the wire as a guide because you know that's on the edge. If that makes any sense. So I wish I could get two fingers in there, two hands in there to work on it, but you're just in this little tiny, it's like working inside of a coffee cup. <laughs> There's not enough room in there for everything. Clockwise is uh, this way. So, you know, try things better. It's only like a quarter turn, or you could say it's a third of a turn. Oh, there it goes. That time it worked. So, what I did was I pushed it in just so I could start to feel where the guides are and try to push it in evenly. Make sure you feel like you can feel that it's, you know, all three tabs are touching. The, the, it's like a ring inside and you can feel the, ta the tabs touching. Then you rotate it until you feel the literally drop in because you're probably pushing it crooked like I was, I think. And it feels like the wire is down. That's to the side. So it's not 100% where I wanted it. Yeah, it feels like the... Uh, The tabs just don't line up. Oh, I know what I can do. If the tabs, that, that's why they give you that little tool. If the, they give you this little uh, Allen wrench, which I think I showed you earlier. So you can twist the, uh, the head with the light itself around. I didn't check all this on the other side. I'm not gonna go back and do that. Um, so if you're noticing like, oh, okay, the way the, the way the plug is oriented, it's gonna wanna do this or that. I can, uh, loosen it. It's gonna end up being like this. So then from that, then I'll make it so that this position, put that there before I drop it. <laughs> will make the light uh, a little bit more, maybe. No, oh, no, it won't. All you're doing is loosening it from the fan. What you need to do is be able to change this orientation in relative in, in relationship to these taps, but it's all one piece. So loosening it doesn't allow you to adjust anything meaningful. You can rotate it on the fan. The fan is coming loose, but this is all one piece here. So this is always gonna be in this orientation regarding the uh, mounting. So there's, there's no point to that. They, they, they're sort of making it pretend like it's gonna work for you, but it doesn't. 
and you're dictated by how it's set in the car. And there's nothing you can do about it. Like right where I want it to be oriented, it's not, uh, there's no space there. It only goes a little bit in the certain direction I want. So I'll just do the best I can. It's, it'll be whatever it is. It did, it did fall in. How's that look? Let's see, it's sort of, it's, it's like at 5.30 five o'clock instead of I wanted it at six but I guess I have to settle for that now you take all this and sort of just tuck it around inside the uh, housing I can see now in the daytime you can by the way do this in the daytime because the light comes through the front lens and it gives it kind of illuminates the chamber from under from behind and that helps a lot Makes it seem like this. yeah you can see what you're doing better or what's happening you know So I'm gonna try to get it something like that. So it's not really touching, this one is here. There, now it's not touching directly. So where's the thing, here it is. It does all fit inside. I have a feeling that they know that um, electronics like this suffer under under a lot of heat. So they're like, yeah, you know, everyone thinks LEDs last for, you know, uh, 10 times longer than normal lights. And that's true under optimal conditions, you know. If you have it in this roasting hot environment, it's not going to last as long. But they don't care because they're thinking, well, good, then they'll replace it. See, now I can see that this is a little bit open. I kind of want to leave it a little open, actually, just to let some air in out, out. It's supposed to be the dust cover, but at the same time, where's all that heat supposed to go? So I'm going to try that on both sides, actually, now that I can see how it fits. That side is easier. That side, you can actually see what's happening better. I'm just gonna leave it open just a little bit. So it's, you know, still 85, 90% hanging on. And this is rubber. I don't think it's gonna vibrate free or anything. I just wanna give it a little space to uh, let the heat out. I don't think it's designed for that super hot thing. And that's it. I hope you saw all that after all this. I'm not doing it again if you didn't see it. <laughs> that's it. See how it's a little bit open? I'm going to leave it sort of like that to vent. And now we're going to put this back on. Everything flashes when I do that. It's, it's kind of scary. One thing nice about using these little tools is that, you know, you can't like really over torque it. If I just grab a big old wrench, that, that feels nice and snug. I don't think that's going anywhere. But it doesn't feel like crazy snug you know you can still give it a little bit if you want but you don't need to it's all you need it's not it's not uh, it's all it is is holding something down you know it's, it's not it doesn't have to be that super tight as long as it's definitely not going to come off and I, I had this board it was a piece of the packaging so I just laid it I laid all my stuff here for example and uh, it's great so I can access both sides and it has a, sort of gives you a little work surface instead where are you going to put all this crap you know so that's nice to have it like that. Okay, so just wrapping it up, you can see the uh, cup there. Covering the light. And you can see how I have it a little bit open off the top. 
See, I was leaning forward sort of because I want to see if it'll vent some of the heat. That's what I'm trying to show you. It's not it's not seating all the way around. Same on this side. Where is it? There it is. Because you that the 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 both the, it kind of fits on the inside and the outside of that. It grabs in a, a, on both sides. So you got to get the back end off as well. To uh, make sure there's a hole where it can the the, the heat can escape is the idea. Turn it on. So there they are, both on. Works fine. Now I don't know about the high and low, I'll test that later when I can see what light. All right, hope you like that. Talk to you later. Both are on. You can actually hear the little flap open up and close. If that you found that useful, you know, give it a like. Help someone else find it. Uh, make a comment if you want, if you know something about how much heat gets collected in these uh, light uh, clusters. I'd really love to know about that. And, you know, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, give me a subscription so I know that people are interested in this kind of thing. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. I'll get you later. Bye. my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> That's hilarious. I almost had an accident myself. <laughs>